Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Cartier, back with another video. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tutorial on how to get multiple cam POVs for your stream or for any recordings you guys are trying to do with multiple POVs. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment for any questions you guys might have. Enjoy. Alright, so, first things first, you're gonna wanna open up your content manager. Once Content Manager is opened up, you're going to want to go to your settings. That's up in the top right between content and about. Open up your settings. Want to make sure you're on custom shaders patch. You're going to come down to the bottom. It's all the way at the bottom. It's going to be the second last thing at the bottom. It's going to say small tweaks. Click on small tweaks. And you're just going to come right here under OBS interrogation. It's going to say pass texture data to OBS directly and then high quality render for default OBS views. You're going to run to turn these two on right here. Once you turn these two on, that's all you're going to need. Now, you can also find the OBS plugin with this inst installation instructions if you click this link right here. But if that doesn't work, then I'll have a link in the bio uh, that you can use as well. But once you click that open or click the link in the bio, this will pull up here. You'll just want to simply download it with this up here, or it'll download manually itself. Once you download it, you'll then want to pull it up in your downloads. So this was what it'll look like once you download it. It'll say OBS plugins with the license and the README. After that, you'll want to open up another file explorer tab. And from there, you'll just want to simply go to your program files, not 86, your regular program files. And you'll want to look for the OBS Studio. Not Streamlabs OBS, but OBS Studio. This one right here, OBS-Studio. You're going to want to open that up. Once that's open, of course, these need to be two different tabs, of course. Um, it's a simple drag and drop, though. Oh, there we go. It's a simple drag and drop. So you're going to want to take this plugins folder uh, from your downloads, and you're going to want to put it into your OBS Studios. Uh, of course, I already have it in there, so I'm not going to do that. Alright guys, so once we got everything downloaded for the OBS interrogation and the settings turned on, you'll want to open up your OBS Studios. Once your OBS Studios is open, you're going to come to this far left side that says Scenes. You're going to right click and you're going to add. You're going to make a scene and you're going to name it whatever you want. I usually name it multiple cams, okay? Once that's added, you're then going to come to the right side and of course under Sources, you shouldn't have anything like I do. Uh, you're going to go ahead and right click, you're going to do Add, and you're going to do a set of courses. It's going to be the second option. Once you do a set of Corsa, you're simply going to add it. You can change the name if you want. I usually just name them as Cam, so I know what Cam I'm looking at and changing around during the gameplay. So you're just going to name it a camera. If, you're, if you're, a set of Corsa is not open and you're already in a server or anything like that, then this is what you'll get, this little error here saying you failed to connect. That's just because your game isn't open, but that is completely okay. So you just want to add just simply one camera for the time being. You can add two, three, four, however you want to add. But for the time being, just go ahead and add your one camera uh, until we get into a server. So after that, you'll want to find a server you want to go into. I'm just going to go into a quick single player server so I load in pretty fast for the tutorial purposes but for you guys of course you want to find a server that you guys want to go into once you load into there that is when your uh, OBS interrogation will end up turning on so now that I'm in a game here I'm gonna pull up our OBS again and as you can see we're on our OBS here now now that you are in a server you want to click on the camera you just added or at least one of them that you just add if you add in multiple. And as you'll see, you have all these different views that you can pick from. Uh, you'll have the above view, which is this one here. Um, you'll have this one here. Well, all of them will be different, depends on the car. All the views will be different. But this is just an example. There's multiple ones you can pick through and uh, figure out how you wanna do yours. So. Now that you know that, the only thing to go from there is to simply is to simply get your camera set up and to get your width and your heights all adjusted to whatever you're trying to set on uh, for your stream or for your recording or just whatever. For me, I stream on TikTok Studios, so for me, if I was to pull mines up, this is how it would look overall. 
Alright guys, so like you can see, this is my TikTok live studio pulled up. The bottom is going to be a display capture. So it's the regular view that my viewers would see whether I had multiple cams on or not. The top left and the top right are going to be the multiple cams. I usually run two, maybe three sometimes, but that's about it. Um, if you're doing this through TikTok Studio, like I'm going to explain here in a second, you'll simply want to add a display capture. And then on that display capture, you're going to need to choose the OBS widowed preview and then you will be all set everything else will be resizing through tick uh sorry resizing through the obs studio instead all right so we're gonna finish off the video here uh gonna give you the rest of the tutorial real fast uh unfortunately i can't show you everything since i'm not able to record my screen for some reason but once you get your camera set to what cameras you want to do and have on your screen uh, and they're activated, so let's say I did, oh, I'll use this one, and then I'll keep the above, and then cam 4, I'll do that one, okay? Once you get that set, of course, you'll see your cameras for you. It's different for me, because right now we're looking at my display. But all you're going to do, once that is all set and you're in a server, is you're going to right-click the screen, and you're going to do Widowed Projector and it's gonna pull up like this okay after that you should see all of your all of your uh numerous cams now from there if you're using it on tiktok on tiktok you're gonna want to add a new display source and when you have this windowed projector source up on tiktok under your new display you can uh, go to your choices of what you want to see on that display and you can pull up the widowed projector view on your TikTok studios. So then it'll end up looking like mine does in the recent videos or the next video that I show you. Um, not sure I'm going to edit this video, but it'll end up looking like that and that's how you get that on there. But this tutorial is, is, is all done. This is how you do your multiple cam views. You want to get OBS interrogation turned on you want to download the mod for it and put it into the OBS file and then after that you just want to simply go to your scenes add a new scene go to your sources add a source do a set of Corsa and it'll pull up your cameras you'll need to be in a server or in a single players in a single player game to actually see the cameras turned on You'll want to set up your cameras on your OBS and then go from there however you want to set it up for yourself. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll make sure to get back in touch with you guys. Or you can also hit me up on TikTok or Discord. It's your boy Cartier, and I'll see you guys on the next video.